begins with Kate heading to work worried about confronting Angel. I'm not sure if confronting Angel would be a good idea, but I have worked with Brian for so long and I know he would never do anything against the store policy. It's better that I talk to Angel, so that everything comes out. Angel and Kate show up to work at the same time. Good morning, Kate. Hello, Angel. Is everything fine? You look like you were having a bad day today. Yes, everything is great. I'm going to talk to him at night when the store starts to get less busier. Now that I have seen him with my own eyes, I'm sure that he was doing the false returns. I would like to confront him at this moment, but the store is going to open in a few minutes and I need to do other responsibilities. At night, the store gets less busier. Angel finishes doing his go-backs and now is putting the carts on their place. Hey, Angel. When you finish with your responsibilities, can you go to my office, please? Sure. I need to talk to you privately about something important. Okay. When I finish with the carts, I'll go to your office. The atmosphere in the office becomes extremely tense. Angel, I know you are a very good person, but I have noticed that you are doing some false returns. Why did you do it? I don't know what to say. I'm really sorry. I accept your apologies, Angel. But why did you do it? I did it because I'm a single father and I have four kids. I am struggling financially, my bills are piling up and I can hardly afford to feed my children. I'm really sorry to hear that. I know how horrible it is to struggle financially. Angel starts thinking of options to fix this problem. He doesn't want Kate to say anything to Brian. This could make him lose his job. I offer you a deal. If you don't report it to Brian, I'll give you half of the money. I don't know. This is a hard decision. I'm going to think about it. Please, think about it. It could help you pay for college and your bills, and I will be able to maintain my job. Angel leaves the scene and Kate starts thinking on his proposition. Wow. He could give me half of the money and I will finally buy a new car and go to college next semester, but I don't want to do anything bad that could harm me or surf scene in the long run. Also, I don't want to disappoint Brian who has entrusted me this position. This is a really hard decision.